Uh, my name is Mikey Weinstein. Mikey Weinstein, how are you, sir? Yes, um, th- that's who yeah. that's who we want to hear from. Can you uh, introduce yourself to this is John Hopper to the ra- to Matt Connerton and the radio audience? Uh, yes, my name is Mikey Weinstein. I'm the founder and president of a, a large civil rights organization called the Advocacy Organization called the Military Religious Freedom Foundation. We represent around sixty four thousand members of the U.S. military. About ninety five percent of them are Christians and. Uh, they are being um, the people we represent are being uh, uh, tormented for not being Christian enough and uh, not accepting uh, the Christian doctrine that's being pushed down by their military superiors. So we protect the wall separating church and state and support the Constitution in the uh, in the U.S. military. Well, is this uh, centered around the, the the current controversy over the Bible that is placed at the the VA here in in uh, Manchester? The VA hall. The VA. Medical uh, yes, Center. we're um, that's our. Uh, that's an example of our advocacy there. That's We filed a lawsuit today with uh, one of our, our clients as the named plaintiff, and we flew a banner uh, um, around the, uh, the VA Medical Center, um, castigating them for this, uh, uh, um, you know, inglorious, despicable, disgusting display of fundamentalist Christian uh, triumphalism and exclusivity, exceptionalism, dominance, and supremacy. So, so what you advocate for? So you don't want? I assume you don't want any uh, kind of religious uh, books or or any kind of other uh, symbolism within the the VA or VA public, hospitals uh, or so not on not on the POW MIA table. Let's put it that way. They all okay. have chapels. They all are allowed to do that. The VA itself represents over. Uh, uh, they they've they've accepted officially over forty different types of religions for their headstones and their cemeteries. Okay. The Department of Defense rep- uh, recognizes, I think, it's 220, 240 different religious faiths. But if you're going to allow the, the Christian Bible in there in Manchester, they've actually bolted it to the table in kind of a Star Trek force field, <laughs> transparent, see-through, plexiglass case. They've bolted wow. it there. And, you know, again, we view yeah. that as sticking up the middle finger, and it's like a gang sign of um, uh, our religion is better than all of yours. So uh, the VA is a state actor. They're not uh, a private company like... Hobby Lobby or Chick Fil A, they put those things up too, but they're private companies. Mm-hmm. And they put the uh, the Christian Bibles when they do POW MIA tables. The VA is a different animal. It's a state actor. It's part of the federal government, and therefore, what they're doing is illicit, immoral, wrong, and unconstitutional. It does seem like uh, by by doing it too, the way that they've done it, it really is uh, kind of uh, they've done it in a in a provocative way, almost like saying, "Yeah, we dare you to try to remove this." We've We've made it uh, oh, yeah. a, a permanent fixture here. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. Um, has we've this... had other commanders that have uh, reached uh, when we, uh, you know, in the military uh, uh, that um, <clears throat> we've had an accommodation where they've taken the Bible off and put down what they call a generic book of faith, which just has readings from the from various faiths: Judaism, Islam, Christianity, Hinduism, uh, Muslim, and they even keep a bunch of pages blank intentionally for, uh, you know. People that practice no faith traditions, right? Um, right. Um, we prefer no book beyond. There, some people just put a blank book down, uh, but to put the Christian Bible there. And remember, ten of our fifteen complainants there at the Manchester Veterans Administration Medical Center are Christian themselves, as is the lead plaintiff. So uh, this isn't a question of Christian victimization. It's a right. question. It's a position of Christian equalization. You know, uh, Christianity is not going to be treated uh, in any exalted fashion. More so than Satanism would be or atheism. Uh, Jenny, That's how it works in this country. Jenny in the Facebook live chat is asking, "Why not allow all books rather than than a ban?" Well, it's not up to us. This was placed by the POW MIA organization of Northeast, mm-hmm. and they're very militant about having a Bible there. Yeah. In fact, you saw the size of that Bible. Yeah. That's an altar sized Bible. I looked to, I, I used to, we used to have one at my house, uh, and they're big, and I looked it up online while I was writing the article. They can be nine, ten pounds. Wow. Now, according to the POW MIA people and the VA, which has declared that a World War II artifact, this was a Bible from a 95 year old World War II veteran. Mm-hmm. Now, he carried that into combat. He had it with 18 months in a POW camp, and he escaped the POW camp all the time with a nine, ten-pound Bible. Does that make sense to you? Mm. Seems very, very unlikely to me, but irrespective right. of that, that, that's his journey. That's great. But the last time I checked, not all POW MIAs are, are Christian. 
Right. Yeah. And again, that Bible is like you mentioned is a is a uh, altar Bible. It's a, it's a Catholic Bible, and um, uh, to sit there and try to argue as Bob Jones, the head of that POW uh, network, told me that you know, he said, "Mikey, that that Bible represents everybody." Uh, if that was the case, then we'd have nothing but crosses on VA cemeteries. Right. We don't. Right. Exactly. We would, we would only have one religion recognized by the Department of Defense. We don't. We have a nearly a quarter thousand, and um, yeah. that's what's. Uh, th- this is what is so. Just you know, wretched about it, and so that's why uh, we have to fight it. Is this going on at other VA hospitals specifically? Oh yeah, other... I mean the VA. We've been fighting this for 15 years. That uh, on aircraft carriers, submarines, even airplanes, large cargo planes, we put these things up. Military bases and VA hospitals everywhere. We've gotten a lot of them taken down, mm-hmm. but we noticed a um, that after Trump became the presumptive uh, candidate in the summer <laughs> of 2016, not even two years ago. Oh, I'm sorry, not, not even three years ago. We started seeing a, a, a much more uh, lower rate of success here. Remember, here when I contacted the VA on behalf of that then fourteen uh, veteran families in yeah. late January, in, in just a little one minute past three hours after we made the demand, they pulled the Bible off the table, sent me an email saying, essentially thanking us for letting them know about this yeah. and that to make sure we told our our um, um, complainants, our clients, that the VA there respects everybody. Uh, it's a, it's a, there's diverse, it's a place of diversity and inclusivity. And, um, that, that we, we, they wanted to make sure that we told our clients that the Bible had been pulled. That lasted just for a couple, three weeks before they stuck it back on there with that bolted, uh, um, you know, force field around it. And, um, well, first now they're, they're saying, no, that's, um, that's a, that, that has nothing at all to do with religion, which of course is counterintuitive in the extremists. And, right. you know, like I said, it, it, why are we even talking about this? This is as stupid as, um, uh, as I could possibly imagine, to try to, to try to argue that this isn't an act of uh, of Christian dominance is um, literally irrational. I'd just like to add that first it was removed, and then there was a brouhaha, and uh, I guess there's an, a, 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 I've been checking the site, POWMIA, I guess there's a, a spirit of compromise, what well, was worked out, it was moved to a case. You see uh, uh, the right. table a table display, map. A display case, which a, a bunch of our complainants still didn't like, yeah. um, but at least it wasn't on the POW MIA table. Which, and that would still be yeah. a, a compromise that we could accept. Our, our, our plaintiff, ourselves, we don't like it, but we could accept it, but not on that POW MIA table. See, that, that, is a, yeah. um, um, that, that is a, a sacrilege. That is unconstitutional. That is establishment of religion in direct violation of the you know, establishment clause of the First Amendment of the Bill of Rights of the Constitution. It's also cr- essentially creating a de facto religion test at yeah. the, at the um, VA, which is in violation of Clause 3, Article 6 they of the have, Constitution. They and, have, um, you know, as I said, two-thirds of our complainants in Manchester are Christians. Yeah, right. As is the lead plaintiff, a very devout Christian. But they're firmly committed, clearly, to separation of church and state as a principle. Well, yeah. um, yes, and I, I wanted to read a quote to you, um, and because um, I was in the uh, the White House working in and for the, uh, the West Wing for over three years. Ronald Reagan. Here's a quote from the time I was in the White House um, from Ronald Reagan. Okay. Quote, we were founded as a nation of openness to people of all beliefs, and so we must remain. Our very unity has been strengthened by our pluralism. We establish no religion in this country. We command no worship. We mandate no belief, nor will we ever. Church and state are and must remain separate. All are free to believe or not not believe. All are free to practice a faith or not. Uh, you know, you put that Bible there, you might as well put, you know, um, uh, a cross and write the word crusaders on fighter jets. Fighter jets. Oh, that's right. The Marine Corps did that, and so did the Air Force. We stopped both of them from doing that. They had they had uh, called uh, two of their different uh, airframes, combat air f- fighter frames, crusaders, and put uh, a Christian cross on those planes. Oh. Can you imagine the message being sent downrange when we're fighting against uh, Islamic extremists? Right. I didn't see that. I didn't know that. I mean, this is just, uh, it's willful stupidity. What? And uh, But it's, it's something we would come to expect from the Trump administration. <laughs> it's willful. And um, we're not going to yeah. stand for this. So the VA now can simply follow five words, which is, tell it to the judge. Uh, gentlemen, I don't have too much more time left, okay. but if there are any questions, I think we've, we've been over this subject pretty well. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I, I don't, uh, I know you're, uh, you're very busy dealing with the media, so. I have a um, question. Have, has it ever come to this where you've had to file suit against the VA? No. No, this is wow. a, um, okay. um, this is a historic lawsuit. It's never, never come to this before. This is the first time. And, um, it'll be, uh, 
you know, our the law firm that we use, the you know, wonderful firm, Dixon Vogelman, right there at 77 Central Street. Oh, yeah. In Manchester, Larry Vogelman has a, and his firm have a long history of supporting veterans' causes, so they're fantastic. And we expect to prosecute this as aggressively as we possibly can in Concord in the federal district court. It's never, this is a, this is historic. It's never been there before. One more question. Uh, What's your feeling that, you know, the, the Washington, the department of uh, veterans affairs took over, you know, when it came to issuing a statement from the Manchester VA, and it was a very provocative message. Uh, the veterans administration apologized to all the veterans who were offended by the Bible being taken away, but didn't apologize. Nothing that I didn't expect um, from the Trump administration. The fact that you know you're not even, you're not seeing anything coming out of uh, Manchester. They're handling it themselves with their ad hominem attacks, rehashing old and cr- yeah. incredible you know crap. And um, but it doesn't like I said, this isn't a complex meal, gentlemen, right. like Chateaubriand. Right. It's a simple hamburger. Right, yeah. You cannot put your religion symbol on a on a uh, in, important display in a government building. Having it, you know, in a, uh, a display about a POW in a display case with, you know, with his helmet and other stuff, maybe that's fine. But on the POW MIA table, there's nothing more sensitive than our prisoners of war and the missing in action. Right. You know, that's uh, who often war become memorial. KIA. And um, this is just uh uh, you know, uh, people like Ronald Reagan and Barry Goldwater will be rolling over in their graves. Mm-hmm. This and is John wrong. McCann. And the VA knew it. They didn't. They didn't. Uh, they, they they claim they pulled the Bible off, John, by uh, operating out of an abundance of caution. No, they didn't. They did it because they knew it was exactly the right thing. Then they started getting flack back from this uh, POW MIA network, which is represented by the First Liberty Council, right. a group of fundamentalist Christian, you know, uh, fascists in the in Dallas Fort, the Dallas Fort Worth area. We know them very well, and they know us. And then uh, they, they uh, I guess, uh, got Mr. Montoya, your director out there in Manchester, to put it back with a vengeance, with that uh, plastic transparent force field bolted to the table. Wow. I think it's that was the statement. idea of Bob Jones, the uh, plexiglass. Oh, well. Uh, I've got, I'm doing some more research. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's truly amazing because... It's a, it's it's going to create that we've already gone through at the Manchester VA a, a, a crisis and things were getting better and now from up above Washington they are triggering a crisis to pit people against each other and, and um, that's exactly why we flew the airplane today with that message right. around the headquarters there the building uh, so that people could see it understand that we're quite serious about this putting a bunch of exclamation marks behind it. And um, so this has now been taken over directly by the Trump administration in Washington. I'd love to hear what Mr. Bernie Sanders, um, what um, Joe Biden and others would say about this if they come to the Granite State, which is a very important state, plays a very yes. crucial role for, you know, for, for big mo- momentum in the 2020 election. I would love to, to see, and I think, John, we talked about this, um, directly reaching out to the, uh, the I think we kind of know what the Trump campaign is going to say. Well, but I'd yes. love to see well, that the other, uh, you know, <laughs> 8 million Democrats that are running, what they would say about this. It should be a two-inch putt. It should be very simple. We are not dishonoring Christians by, you know, by, you know, by taking the Christian Bible off the POW MIA table. As I said before, gentlemen, that is not Christian victimization. It is Christian equalization. In America, you know, we don't count heads before enforcing the First Amendment. And that's what Sandra Day O'Connor said, and that's what we miss her on the Supreme Court. But you can't put, if you put, can you imagine what would happen if we put the Book of Satan there? Or a Koran, or Richard Dawkins, right. the God delusion, which is kind of, of course, <laughs> I think we should. God is not great. He's but we don't are, know, know Kind of revered as the quote Bible for secularists, you know, humanists, atheists, and agnostics. As I said before, John, when we spoke earlier, there would be blood in the streets of Manchester. I so think why that... is it okay to put a Christian Bible there? Someone explain that to me. Right. Well, you know what? Uh, the VA can explain it to the federal judge. There yeah. You, there you go. There you go. Interestingly, the VA is claiming that it is a secular display with a Bible. <laughs> yes, that, that's I mean, that, that's it's, the, it's, these are the same people no. who say that the uh, look. Even Nikki Haley took down the Confederate flag right. on the the Capitol of Columbia after Dylan Roof shot and killed all those people that's at true. that African American church. That's true. You know, that, yeah. It's utter and it's the big lie. It is. It is not a secular display. It is anything but a secular display. And as I said before. Um, um, our, our plaintiff is not a nominal Christian. He's a He's devout, devout uh, devout Christian. Right. Former Air, Air Force pilot. Right. And we have nine other Christians in our group of 15. And then, of course, we have the minority faith, as I mentioned. Judaism, uh, Jewish, Muslim, Native American, sec, uh, Buddhist, and then atheist agnostic. And, um, so, um, um, they can argue it's secular. 
it's, it's very easy for them to say. Mm-hmm. You know, I just had someone put a cross on my father's grave the day on, on Easter. And that became a front page story out here in the Albuquerque Journal because uh, that wasn't, you know, that wasn't a, a display of Christian love. That was sacrilegious. My father was, was a World War II Korean and uh, Vietnam veteran. And it, they put a cross on his grave. There were no other crosses there within, uh, within 500 feet of that place. Is there a star you know, David? So we know what that was about. Is there a star exactly David on his grave? About. And that's why I said, you nail it down, you bolt it down. That is a freaking gang sign. John, did you see the uh, quote I gave you? Yes. Because if not, I'll read it to you right now. Go ahead. Here's my final <laughs> quote uh, uh, on this show, if, if you guys are ready. Sure. That yeah. sectarian Christian Bible bolted down to that T-O-W-M-I-A table at the Manchester, New Hampshire VAMC is a grotesque gang sign of fundamentalist Christian triumphalism, exceptionalism, and supremacy. Indeed, a middle finger of unconstitutional repugnance to the plurality and separation of church and state guaranteed in the U.S. Constitution. As a state actor, the VA cannot elevate one faith over another faith, or no faith. The VA is wretchedly disrespecting millions of American veterans by doing so. The VA has ignominiously made sure that that sectarian Christian Bible sticks out like a tarantula on a wedding cake in that (laughs) POWMIA display, and they've done so for a reason. It's immoral, unethical, and blatantly illegal under our Constitution, and we look forward to aggressively prosecuting our case in federal court. Gentlemen, thank you for the opportunity to be on the show today. All right, sir. Yep. Thank I'll, you so much for I'll calling. I'll talk to you later because I'm going to do some follow-ups on, on this. All right, Mr. Weinstein. Sounds good. Take, take care. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.